Hi, my name is Becky Loop, and I have been an artist for probably all of my life, but actually painting for maybe about 10, 15 years. I like to think of art as spending time problem solving and um, just digging deep into the mysteries that um, that characterize us as humans. And I was, I was thinking of the verse in 1 Corinthians 4, verse 1, that talks about stewarding the mysteries of God. And I just think it's just a really uh, interesting way of combining um, creating visual art and the revelations and, and things that God gives to us. I want to just share a little bit about how these abstract images came about. Uh, the simple line drawing, the single line drawing, actually formed from a dream um, when in the dream I just saw a single line image and when I woke up I quickly tried to capture what I had seen but more than that I in the dream I understood that that single line represented my voice and um, so when I when I started drawing out this abstract piece it kind of combined the first thing as God is relational as a single line image that is just a basic concept of in the beginning of time we are with God and then his the story of our humanity is we were with and then we were without we were separated from God and that um, also comes from Genesis where when man and after the fall of man and they realized they were naked or they realized they were without and then when Jesus came, he reconnected us in relationship again. So then we are now connected with Jesus. Um, one thing about these three images that go together, the single line drawing, um, never, it never uh, changes. It only changes form, but it still is a single line um, representing, that is represented through each piece. So. In the beginning, um, the one that is relational, that is also in the second piece. It just takes a different form and it's also in the third piece and just takes a different form again. Another uh, thing I want to point out in these three images is in as a single line drawing, they're around the what I call like the head of the larger part of the image, there's a, a cross and so in each one of those that is represented as Jesus connect like connecting us back to him these pieces also uh, added I added other pieces in a whole series so there's actually eight in total of these abstract pieces um, these three in particular though I just wanted to use as that storyline and if you look at each one in the shape there is like a heart and that heart is also representing just that single line, but it, it changes form. So in the first one, it's kind of, it's upright and it's directing towards the left. And in the second piece, it goes upside down. And in the third piece, it goes off to the right. And specifically the one towards the right, um, right in often represents authority. And so the whole idea of this, simple storyline is what God has done through Christ and for us as humanity is bringing us from the left side to the right side and placing us in a place of authority. And um, the last picture that is uh, God is the characteristic is expressive. And I just almost see this as like the father swinging a child up into the right corner of the painting. So almost like he's taking this, this child from where it's been and swinging them up into a place of authority. And that is our rightful place as believers in Christ. One of the things I wanted to say about the middle piece, the one where the heart looks like it's upside down and it's it's very uh, darker colors. In that piece, um, two words that I got with it were adorned and anguished. And what I understood in that is that Christ was adorned in anguish. And because of that, we also are adorned in anguish. And But the result of that is 
what goes to the last piece, whereas again, we are celebrated into a place of authority. I just wanted to also um, just encourage anyone out there who is maybe wrestling with with art and just to encourage you that it's just about finding your voice and what that voice is reflecting of who God made you to be. And I think of a couple of verses, uh, the one out of Habakkuk uh, 2 verse 14 about the knowledge, the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord. And when I was thinking about that, to me, what I understand the knowledge to be, the knowledge of the glory of the Lord is our testimonies. It's it's our knowledge of how we we discover God and what He um, shares with us and and what we reflect back to the world with that. I, one other verse I just want to um, tie into all this is out of Romans 8 where it says, For the creation waits with eager longing for the revealing of the children of God. And I think that is also tied into discovering our voice and and speaking out what God has placed in us. I just want to encourage anyone out there who is discovering things through art um, to just rise up and see what God is saying.